in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear friends fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the 29th sunday in ordinary time let me read the first reading of the day from the book of exodus chapter 17 verses 8 to 13 in those days amalek came and fought with israel at rephidim and moses said to joshua choose for us men and go out fight with amalek tomorrow i will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of god in my hand so joshua did as moses told him and fought with amalek and moses aaron and hur went up to the top of the hill whenever moses held up his hand israel prevailed and whenever he lowered his hand amalek prevailed but moses hand grew weary so they took a stone and put it under him and he sat upon it and aaron and hur held up his hands one on one side and the other on the other side so his hands were steady until the going down of the sun and joshua mowed down amalek and his people with the edge of the sword the word of the lord thanks be to god what merlin monroe the famous american actress and model said is quite true just because you fail once doesn't mean you are going to fail at everything just because you fail once doesn't mean you are going to fail at everything there is another saying great works are performed not by strength but by perseverance great works are performed not by strength but by perseverance i remember a story which illustrates how we often confuse god's timing with our own a rural newspaper had been running a series of articles on the value of church attendance in its sunday religion column one day the editor received a letter which read print this if you dare i am trying an experiment i have a field of corn which i plowed on sunday i planted it on sunday i did all the cultivating on sunday i gathered the harvest on sunday and howled it to my barn on sunday i find that my harvest this october is just as great as any of my neighbors who went to church on sunday so where was god all this time 
the editor printed the letter but added his reply at the bottom your mistake lies in thinking that god always settles his accounts in october your mistake lies in thinking that god always settles his accounts in october we who believe in the power of prayer often wrongly think that our persevering prayers will force god to act when and how we want him to act according to our time table and according to our desire that doesn't happen today's readings are mainly about prayer perseverance in prayer constancy in prayer and trust in god as we pray these are the themes that we find in today's readings in the first reading that we just heard we saw how moses and aaron understood the necessity of praying always and not losing heart in the second reading paul recommends to timothy in his second letter chapter 3 verse 14 to chapter 4 verse 2 perseverance in prayer in the practice of faith he then goes on to remind timothy that the holy scriptures were meant to help him to be faithful to his own duties finally the gospel Luke 18 verses 1 to 8 has the parable of the persistent widow demanding justice this parable does not suggest that god writes a blank check guaranteeing whatever we want whenever we want it and in the form we ask for we conveniently forget the fact that often a loving father has to refuse the request of a child because he knows that what the child asks would hurt rather than help it for example a knife if the child asks for god is like that he knows what to give whom to give and how to give only god sees things in their entirety and therefore only god knows what is good for us in the long run that is why jesus said that we must never be discouraged in prayer instead we have to lift the answer to god's decision saying your will be done we have to leave the answer to god's decision saying your will be done my dear friends today as we find in the bible diary calvin machado from pernal presently in berlin luke sequera from urwa presently in canada Sister Reshma Fernandez from Gujarat are celebrating their birthday. We wish them happy birthday and we pray God's choices blessings on them and also the others among the listeners of Carmel Light who celebrate their birthday today. We also pray for the intentions of Anni Furtado and family from Bengaluru. May the Lord grant their heart's desire and also Antoinette Fernandez from Goa is celebrating her birthday. We wish her happy birthday and we pray God's choices blessings on her. Lord Jesus, help me not to fail. Help me to not fail, not to falter. and never give up or quit rather 
I ask humbly for your energy and wisdom and for your help that I will succeed in all that you have me to do from this day forward. As Paul said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And Lord, you know better than I how weak I am. Bless me now so that I may hold on to you trusting that you will provide for me in your own way and in your own time. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Stephen Pereira, Carmelite Priest and my WhatsApp number is 9481263229. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.